family. Uh, do we have the whole family? Most of the family here, the yes. London family. Thank you for being here. Perhaps you can introduce the whole gang. Sure. Uh, I'm Rebecca London. This is my dad, Barry, my mom, Danielle, and my brother, Will. We're all Care Bassett uh, locals and live right over on West Mountain. I can see you've got a Sugarloaf USA hat, so you are a longtime Sugarloafer, <laughs> aren't you? Yeah. yeah. And we're here to talk about a great program. Uh, and maybe you can tell us, King's Kids, it's something that uh, has been kind of revamped. Maybe you can give us some clarity and unwrap that package for us. Absolutely. So this fall, I saw an article in the Press Herald about the work that is being done to make sure that kids in Franklin and Somerset counties have access to winter sports, which is a mission I think is absolutely critical to our area. We all know winter is long, which mm. for us skiers is a great thing. Um, the more that we can get kids out on the snow and enjoying the things that I've been fortunate enough, that we're all fortunate enough to experience, um, I think is really important. And it makes sure that we have another generation of skiers to continue to experience um, the wonderful traditions that Sugarloaf has. Tell us about the program. What are the offerings of the program? It's, it is outdoors. That's the, the big thing. But uh, tell us some of the specific things that people can do. Sure. So it's with partnership with the Sugarloaf Ski Club. And they're working on making ski passes more affordable for families. They're working to make sure that kids have access to ski equipment kids grow fast and need new equipment every year so they're working on solutions for those problems um, and so it's it's just ensuring that kids get onto the snow they also work on the ski skate programs which my dad is the principal in Stratton has had a lot of experience with what kind of results have you seen well it's interesting I uh, give a uh, good shout out to Bruce Miles and Jeannie Balsam and the whole uh, Sugarloaf uh, administration about kind of getting this thing going and uh, I worked most closely with Bruce regarding um, everything from ski skate and then uh, opportunities for uh, additional skiing on the Sunday afternoon programs and then for passes for uh, students that uh, couldn't afford them and I had a, uh, a great experience about two weeks ago where we have a, a ski team and uh, our ski coach um, Paula Stevens, like to call hey, it, the Learn to Ski uh, Team. Oh, and so uh, what she attempts to do with this is to get students out that, that may not at first want to run gates or things, but get really comfortable on skis. And so she typically will come up on Sunday morning as one of her, her practice times. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, they had finished up, and uh, three of the uh, middle school girls were on the chair right ahead of me, and they didn't know I was there. And they were laughing, and they were having such a fun time with it. And I said, that's what the program is supposed to be doing right there, to really get that uh, um, reinvigoration of what, what we and the passion that we have for it is, is, is really fun to see it. Yeah. And it's been a slow process. You know, when you first start out, it's not just about photo passes and things. It's also about how uh, we get them uh, into equipment. As Rebecca mentioned, and so uh, working with the ski shop in the Sunday afternoon program of rental skis and things, the mountain has been very, and the ski club have been very, very supportive of that. Yeah, the harsh reality is it's not always that affordable for all families, and mm -hmm. why should they not miss out on this great opportunity? Yeah.